behind the door? A prisoner. Of sorts. Taking a break before visiting Durlin? Very wise. He can be... a lot. Every piece of it's come to me. I have built to harvest ore for armaments. Essentially harnessing resources that would otherwise go to the dwarves. You think shutting these things down will help the dwarves become independent? I don't know, but I have to try something. You know what? My face is itchy. I think my beard's coming in. Is it? Yeah, on my jawline. See? It's growing. Is it? That's not just dirt. It's not dirt. There's another mining rig on this island, brother. Smell that smoke. Why would the dwarves agree to work for the Aesir in the first place? That's the heart of it, eh? You lied to them. I lied to them. Oh! One less feathery spy. Bet we could swing across that, uh, lift thing. Gantry. Gantry. Thanks. Quite right. A spark from your blades would cause quite a boom. He found a high enough place to drop from.
Surprised the dwarfs didn't shut these rigs off themselves. One or two tried. The Ein Haryar made examples of them. They killed the dwarves? Couldn't you have convinced them not to? Aye.
Impressive. That should help. Yeah, that looks right. To the blacksmiths of Svartalfheim, the creation of a weapon was a sacred thing. But Odin just wanted as many blades as he could get, as fast as he could get them. With every stolen resource and mediocre blade, the dwarves lost a bit of themselves. Oh! 
<laughs> the dwarf survived because of you. Ah, you're not wrong there, brother. Odin would have wiped out every last dwarf and Spartan fight. If he couldn't use their skills, no one could. <laughs>